If you've been working the same position for a few years and you're ready to take your career to the next level but unsure of how to do it, we've got career coach and founder of Watch Your Work, Denise Hamilton, here to share the secret. Hey, Denise. Hey, how are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. First, tell us about Watch Your Work. Uh, it's my baby. You know, we created Watch Your Work to solve one problem, to help women go further, faster. We have filmed hundreds of executives, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders to build a library of over 7,000 videos of everything from how you ask for a raise to how do you tell your boss you're pregnant to, um, you know, how do you negotiate severance, all of the things. And so we just love sharing that wisdom and advice with women. So they don't have to step in the same puddles we already stepped in. Yes, you are building, uh, you are uh, lifting as you climb, as they say. Um, how can we climb that corporate ladder while the pandemic has us stuck in one place? Whew, this is a tough time, right? It's just it's unprecedented is a word we've used way too much this year, but yeah. it is. And so we're all reimagining what work looks like. So the first tip I would give is take initiative. This is an unusual time in that everyone's at home. You can reach out cold to people at, on LinkedIn, on social media, set up informational interviews, connect. This is a great time to expand your personal network and start learning more about the people that you work with. Set up a one-on-one -on -one call with your, um, in, your coworker that you don't talk to very often, right? And really deepen those relationships. This is a great time to do that. The other thing that's a really great opportunity is sharpen your skills, this is a time to take that course, to get the coach, to process some things that maybe you wanted to grow in to move to the next level. This is a time to do it. Oh, certainly. And you mentioned informational interviews. What exactly is that? Well, definitely we are familiar with the concept of just kind of interviewing for a job or interviewing because you want something. But you can actually set up informational interviews where you just talk with someone because you want to learn about their expertise and their knowledge. I have authors that I love, leaders in my field that I just reached out to cold and set up a 10 minute or 15 minute call. And we have this relationship now with somebody I might have never met. You know, there's also a geographical um, advantage here. Maybe the person that you really admire lives in another state or another country even. You can set up time and just talk with them and get to know them. People are so much more open to that than I've ever seen them. Be. So is it possible to still stand out from the crowd even while working from home? Absolutely. Let me give you a metaphor. <laughs> like we're all stumbling, we're all struggling. It's all difficult right now, right? And we're raising, raising our um, commitment to being the best employee that we can be. What we gotta do is we gotta listen and learn. Right. Watch. Everything is moving right now. Maybe the priorities in your organization have shifted. Have you been paying attention to that? What does the boss really care about? What are the moving um, targets? Right. So maybe these five things used to be the priority in your organization. And now it's shifted to just sales or just revenue or just, you know, how, how we realign after layoffs. You've got to be really sensitive, pay attention, ask questions, and understand how those priorities have shifted and make sure that you are a solution, not a problem. So Denise, is there one common mistake that you see a lot of people make? Uh, the failure to adapt. Adapt. Don't just stand around waiting for everything to change. We have a bunch of different variables right now that we've got to figure out how to address. And the people that kind of step up admit that they have challenges and figure out how to solve them, those are the folks that are gonna win. So don't be afraid to adapt and ask the people around you to be supportive as you adapt. Mm, that's a big one there. And no one wants a stale career, so how can we get and handle promotions within our companies? Communicate, 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 communicate. <laughs> like we are taking over other people's responsibilities, because people could, because of layoffs, we are um, doing new projects and we are identifying opportunities where we can solve problems. You know, you're still adding value in your organization. Like, don't think that because you're in a pandemic, there's no way to move forward. And and another point around this communication issue: make sure that you are really communicating with your leadership. Let's say you have small children, and from you know 12 o'clock to three o'clock. You really want to focus on them. 
Okay, talk to your boss. Hey, I'm going to really put in some time from 8 to 11 or 8 to 12. Make sure that you are getting your deliverables still submitted and that they understand how you have reshaped or reorganized your work, right? Let them know that I got. I may have challenges at home. There's a lot going on, but I'm still committed to the job. I'm still committed to my deliverables. I'm still committed to being the excellent employee I've always been. That's not going to change, right? Because there's a pandemic doesn't mean that you know our organizations are totally different. What it means is what skills are valued, what skills are elevated may be slightly different. So if you're paying attention to that, if you're sharpening your skills, you're deepening your relationships and you're communicating, you will come out on top. I love that. Um, and one thing I heard you say there that was just kind of within the text of what you were saying is not being afraid to ask for what you need. If you need that time or a schedule shift or whatever helps you function better at work and at home, which is both right now for a lot of people, that could be uh, a move, a step in the positive direction. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing. Absolutely. Thanks so much for having me. Yes. You can find out more tips at watchyourwork.com.